<laughs> oh god. It's gonna be okay. I know. It's gonna be okay. I know. Oh, hi. Sorry. <laughs> got a cold. It's quite terrible. And I've got to cry. She's got a broken heart. <laughs> but hey, guess what? I'm Kayla. And I'm Kaylee. And you are here for what? Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Oh, 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 oh. Guys, just so you know, we're totally gonna like actually come up with a Roswell recap song because yes. like I'm always feeling it every episode. Like, mm. but if we, I feel like we always sing different things, but then at the same time, every once in a while, look, we can just have different remixes. Yes. Mm. Roswell recap. Yes. Um. So I'm actually super hyped about this episode because coming off of last week, I was. I was really scared. Listen, it, this is the thing. I hate feeling meh. That's my least favorite. Like, I will hate something because I don't feel anything. And that's kind of how I felt last episode. I yes. was very underwhelmed. Yes. Although yes. there were things in this episode that were deeply upsetting to me, at least I felt something, you know? Oh, she felt something. <sighs> I was feeling things. Did she feel <laughs> I something? I want to cry. Really, actually, want to cry. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, so last week was like, Meh. sorry, sorry fans, but Meh. it was mer. but I was really hyped because our baby Liz from the original, yes. she'd be directing this episode, Ooh, Sherry. She'd be directing, she'd be there, and she'd be like, hey, I'm calling the shots, I know how this goes, I don't mm. even need a script, mm. I'm going no, 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 I kidding. know Max and Liz, okay, <laughs> let me take this. And of all the episodes for her to come back and direct, it mm-hmm. should be the first. First, ah! the first taste of glory oh, between Max and Liz, finally. I was cheering. I'm so excited. Oh, we got some kissy kisses. Oh, and what a kiss it was. Oh, man. And it was Liz that went in for it. it. Was. I was like, oh. It should be. She should be in the league. She lead. should. Totally. Because like, he, he was still so respectful. He was yes. like, I'm feeling something, but no. Like, she doesn't want this, and I get it, because of all that I've done in the past, like, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, no, baby. Yes. <sighs> yes. And I, like, I said it right after it happened, but, like, my favorite part is, like, you could see his eyes, like, flutter underneath oh, yeah. his eyelids. Yeah. And it was just such that, like, oh Yeah, like, God. he was shocked. Like, yeah. oh. And, I don't know, it just made me, like, really happy. It was, like, that little, like, note of, yes. of the acting. Yes. That just added, that even made oh. it more, like... Oh it my made gosh. my heart like jump in my throat, just like oh, little precious. I and you know it was like that in the original where it took forever. I feel like it was like seven or eight episodes. Yeah. So I want to go back and see like if it was like episode eight. But anyways, it did take forever, and you're just like, dear God, would these two just kiss? And I felt like earlier, like we talked about last week, how like I just felt no connection with Max and Liz. So I'm like, how are they gonna do this? But they did a really good job of talking about this time jump. So we have six weeks. So obviously there's probably been some time to kind of think things over and mingle and blah, blah, blah. Yes, her whole, I never want to see you again from two episodes ago, mm. I guess, mm. is not a thing. But also, yeah. I mean, I still think that there was, like, the absolutes of it, it's really hard to come back from absolutes. And there's just been... A lot of things thrown around. I like where it is now. Yeah. But I still think the writers could have yeah, maybe dialed still... back so it wasn't so like, really, you never want to see him again. Yeah. It Girl, does... your tongue down. I mean, I'm not hating on it because you know I love me some Max and Liz. But it did seem like a very much a dramatic like, no, 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 we can never be together to, okay, baby, here we go. You know, right. so, but it's fine. Like, this is where we need. I think it still worked. It worked. And this is where we need them to be. So yeah. now Liz is like, team, I support you and your family. And I get it. I get it. Yes. Me and Michael are besties now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they've been working on some stuff. Mm-hmm. They got themselves an antidote. Yeah, they do. Those two smarty pants working Ooh. together. All cute. So they cute. were so cute. Yeah. 
I like that. And then, like, dancing at the bar together. Liz is like, come here, Mikey. Yeah. You come here. Yeah. Let's dance. Exactly. I was like, like oh, you, you were so getting precious. the building of, like, this, this core group. Yes, the core group, which I was like, God, we don't have that. Yeah, because we don't, I mean, with the exception of, like, I guess it was episode one, and then there was the one episode that we really got some Maria, Alex, Michael, or Michael, Maria, yeah. Alex, Liz um, moments. Yeah. So not even having that kind of core group, and then, like, Michael and Max are kind of not connected. Like, right. There's a lot right. of, like, little groups, but not mm-hmm. three and three. Right. So kind of seeing it all kind of come together in a different way. Yes. It's really interesting. Yeah, and, and that's just been my bummer with Maria. Because, like, in the original, I mean, she it took her a long time to get used to, like, the aliens. Oh, she, that took she was, a like, long freaked time. out. Yeah, for a long well, time. Well, granted, though, does she, she doesn't know yet. She doesn't know yet. So, so that's going to be a whole thing. Out, but she seems so open to stuff. She does. She does. But I mean, is she going to say, like, okay, well, why didn't you, like, try to save my mom? Why mm, try to save, why, you know, why didn't you try something mm, on her, mm, on her mm. brain? Mm-hmm. Or maybe she will. She's just like, can you? And try maybe something? she will. And maybe Max will do it because he in this episode he was talking like, I just feel like I need to be doing more. Like this woman's a hoax, and that really upsets me because she shouldn't be doing that to people. And I have this ability. Is this something I should be doing? And of course, Liz is like, dude, like it like practically kills you every time you do this. But he was like, no, I can practice. Like you know, I can maybe get better. So that could be a thing that they they could play that card. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously Maria's very concerned with her mom. Yes, that's very much. Kind of, that's the number one. Yes. yes. Which, totally Reoccurring. Good. Agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, kind of finding out what's going to happen with her. Maybe Simple. Max will pay up their play. recap a recap a little bit so again it was six weeks they've been experimenting on a serum to help isabel she's still in the pod all bobbing you know mm-hmm. looking all cute and all that um and so maria basically comes and looking sexy as hell <sighs> listen she's got her little midriff showing she's mm-hmm. got some cleavage mm-hmm. she's got a cool jacket like she's mm. Mm. Very, I very much was thinking about. It's not a hundred percent right, but um, the cake song, short skirt, long jacket. Oh yeah. I was like feeling like the like because she's just so cool. She's so cool. She just has that effortlessly like, cool. Yeah, she's yeah. just cool, and like that. That was the first outfit of hers that I was like, bam, mm-hmm. finally. So I've been waiting mm-hmm. for from Maria because yep. she's just been kind of casual kind of chill which is fine she works at a bar you want to be cash but finally delivering some looks uh this week heather girl Mm -hmm. here for that Mm -hmm. here for that yeah she's sexy Mm -hmm. so she comes in all sexy and is like hey i want to like go to this healer because maybe she can help my mom and liz is like okay girl i'll go with you and then michael and max are like Oh, look, it's the symbol. Let's go check out the symbol. And then, what do you know? They're at the same place. Worlds collide. Through the funk. So, yeah, they're at this place. We see this woman do a little healing. Ooh. Ooh. It was just a hot hands. Ugh. It ain't be nothing. You know, at first I was like, oh, we got an alien well, Was there? it glowing? I was. Yeah. I was like, why would they show us it glowing unless uh-huh. it's supposed to be a thing? Uh-huh. But then they like... Girl, you got some battery-operated lights going up your leg. Fraud. Fraud. Yeah. Now, what's interesting, so, and this kind of jumps ahead, but it's fine, whatever. We never we go, can, we, we never go in order. We can do whatever we want, because it's the Roswell recap. It is true. It is Roswell recap. We yeah. make the rules. Well, so, um, we find out, A, it's a hoax, but the older Native American woman, who I'm assuming is the mom of Arizona, who is the healer, um... She obviously knows the symbol. Mm -hmm. And so Max ends up confronting her and is like, listen, like you're going to give me some details I need to know right now. And she tells him that there was a woman who had healing abilities Mm -hmm. and was there for many years, didn't speak, but healed people. 
And then she ended up dying like 21 years ago or something. Or it was like when they came out of the pods, mm-hmm. basically, is when this woman died. And what did she say? Her she, last she words. She was like, he's coming or something yeah. like that. He or is he's here. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so anyway, so that could be how they had the idea of the hand. Because mm. they actually saw her doing that to people. And so then they probably created that just as like a thing. Because yep. they knew that was what it would look like. Maybe. Wait, but what would it look like? Like, if you were, like, an alien actually heal, like, you know how the Arizona is putting off this, I'm a healer. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I thought you were saying that's how Michael and Max and they realized the hand thing. And I was like, oh, that. no, they okay. got that on lockdown. <laughs> right. I was like, uh. We figured that out a while ago. Yes. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure that that's, and well, it's just a common thing in general. Like if you do like some sort of faith healing, it's always like, oh, my balls. But yeah, like, you know, yeah. that's always laying on hands and uh-huh. then it's like, I'm pushing energy into exactly. you or whatever. Yes. So it's probably a mixture of things, but mm-hmm. very, very little interesting. And the mm-hmm. symbol would just crop up around this woman. Yes. In all kinds of ways. And so that's how they got the symbol. But then the symbol is all in their minds, the aliens. Would this be a fourth alien? Oh, they did say the words fourth alien. I wonder who it could be. Actually, I do wonder because I just don't know. Like, I have my suspicions and ideas. However, it's are they going to go the way? Yeah. Or are they going to go the way over here? Yeah. Um, You don't know. It could be. It could be. Either way, we know it's probably another one. Yes. We just don't know who. And that has been, that is still around, or at least was around recently. Not this woman. Because Mm -hmm. the first, they said the first death was Rosa. Isn't that what Kyle said? I guess recorded, maybe. So, yeah, I guess so. So. That's what they said. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess let's kind of talk about that because we got Sheila Bonbon coming in strong in this oh, episode. She's, yeah, she's like flipping sides, we yeah, think. Yeah. I'm going to be trustful because there hasn't been reason for us not to trust her. Yeah. Because the only reason she was really talking to Master Sergeant was because of her sister. Yeah. Yeah. So we have no reason not to trust that what she's saying is truthful mm-hmm. and that she is actually like, I'm going to figure this out. And we know that she has feelings for Max. Yes. At yes. the very least, affection. Yes. So it makes sense. And that, she c- c- comes out to Alex, too, and is basically like, your dad told me to watch you. Yeah, exactly. Basically, so, like, I'm just being straight up honest with yes. you. Like, I have nothing to lose now. Like, yes. are you going to help me with this or not? And, like, dick your dad over, basically. Exactly. So because so, she's being honest, leads me to believe that yeah. she's being truthful and honest. Mm-hmm. And that she is... You know, trying to kind of figure this out. Which is interesting. I wasn't mm-hmm. expecting that. No. Nope. At least this early. Yeah. But it makes sense. Because Alex's dad is a bitch. He's a Nobody wants man. to be... Master Nobody Sergeant. Be yeah, for real. But yeah, so now we have this little team up of... Yes. Kyle, mm-hmm. Sheila Bonbon, yep. and Alex. Yep. Hello, Alex. Nice to meet uh-huh. you. Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. He's so freaking cute. He is. So I mean, cute. they're all really And attractive. his little serious face. Yeah. Oh. Oh, God. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> so we're, we're just going to talk about the three of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Um... I'm very interested to see kind of what they can uncover. I'm confused as to why he would say, like, I put a stop to this operation for reasons. And then three seconds later, I'm reopening this operation. <laughs> yeah. Very much like last week's with Michael yeah. having his turnaround so fast. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. just, I get that drama's exciting and everything. But again, dealing with absolutes can, right. is not right. a good way if you want your characters to, like, change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because then we don't yeah. trust your characters, basically. Yeah. yeah. So... A little iffy on that, but whatever. Regardless. Well, we got a serial killer. Yeah. Serial alien killer. 14. It's not good. That's a high number. Yeah. Ooh. So, I'm interested to see what maybe they can uncover. Really, all of these people need to come together. Yeah. Because they all have pieces of the puzzle. And maybe, if they all came together, they could put it all together. Yeah. Well, so, it's interesting to, like, if I was in Kyle's position, and I heard all of this stuff. Like, I right away, like, we know Kyle does not trust them at all. The aliens, right? Does not trust them. 
So, like, I'm surprised that, because he was still kind of defending Max and them a little bit, you know? Well, he likes, I think he does like Max. Max kind of got his respect after, like, the fixing the power and stuff. That's right. So, Max, I think he does respect. I think he's probably whatever on Michael. And then he hates Isabel. It's Isabel. Yes. That's the problem. Yes. But But he's still still not giving details to Alex and Sheila Bonbon. So, like... He's not still, big details, but no, he's details. given them some, but he's still holding back, which is like is very interesting to me. Well, he's I mean, I'm surprised that he still hasn't told Liz that Rosa was his half sister. Mm. I mean, like that's like an interesting thing to yeah. like. Kyle's holding back a lot. He is. He has Kyle. a lot of secret information, but I mean, so does Alex. Yeah. I mean, they they kind of the thing. They all are so like secretive of all their mm-hmm. stuff but then they'll tell you know they straight up told Sheila Bonbon guess what aliens <laughs> yeah I was like oh we're going there yeah. like there's like no and and to what shocked me too was like that Alex even said that because like I know that like he had been looking into his dad's stuff but like we hadn't like confirmed that yeah I mean you could you would assume obviously yeah but like it just wasn't confirmed. I didn't know cons- confirmed for sure he knew about and, like, the believed three of them. It. Yeah. And believed it. Yeah. I don't yeah, I don't know that we really saw that moment of his dad said, Oh, they're terrorists or whatever. Right. Right. But he didn't say they're aliens per se, unless to him a terrorist means alien. Right. Right. I don't know. But again, like you said, we don't know that he believed it. Yeah. So yeah, like, that's really interesting mm-hmm. how that kind of happened, because I was kind of surprised by that, yeah, too. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, wait, Alex knows? Oh, and we're like, we're just, okay, we're so going with it. So now Maria's the one that doesn't know? Maria, God bless. Because, yeah, now no one knows. Yeah. He saw the damn pots. Yeah. Maria Ooh. is last to know. That's Maria, fucked, guys. Girl, Come I'm on. so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so we can talk for, about that moment with Noah. Yeah. Well, first of all, being a little creep watching Liz and Max like in the bushes. I was like, yes. Well, first I was just a figure, and I was like, who is that? Because yeah. you couldn't tell who it was like, from a distance. Them. But then, like, they zoom in. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's just straight up watching but the make out. Why did he even go there? Like, why was he there? Like, yeah, if he was Questions. going to <laughs> confront Max, how did he know to find him there, that specific location? Right. And if you really want to talk to Max, would you really ca- if you thought that Max had like taken your your wife yeah, or something? Would you like go to this remote place in the middle of the desert? Well, if he was making out with someone, wouldn't you just say like, "Hey, buddy, where the fuck is my wife?" We yeah, like you, we gotta talk. Why would you care if they were making out? Like that would not st- like if I mean, if I was in his shoes, I feel like I would be like, I don't care. If you're fucking kissing the Queen of England, where's my wife? I'm here well, because and it's he, been six weeks. He may have, but we had that shot where he was watching them, and then he looked to the corner and he saw an entryway. But again, so, why would he be drawn to this random entryway? Well, he could have thought, okay, Max is distracted. I'm going to go check this out. Maybe my wife's in there. I don't know. I'm just pulling some bet, stuff out of my ass, I just, okay? I just don't think any person would be like... Huh, random cave looking thing. Maybe my wife's there. I know. I don't, I don't think know. anyone would know. think that. Just, like just, I'm it, trying to help the writers out. Let, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. We, we opened the floodgates <coughs> last week, and so. It's true. I'm just, it's I'm true. just not interested in giving passes here. It's true. Okay. I mean, it still was a much better episode, it but there was. are definitely moments that are just like, it doesn't make sense. It's true. Who would do that? Well, he goes into this hidden cave, and what does he find? Isabella Bobbin. And she be in that little pod, all naked, and he's like, ooh, girl, I haven't seen you for six weeks. And girl, this kind of explains some shit. We didn't (laughs) see what he, you know, we saw him discover it, and the next thing we know, he was in the car, Uh so he probably had a little sweet time with her. Probably. You know, he like caressed the pod. Mm-hmm. Cried, mm-hmm. got naked. I don't know. <laughs> and don't yeah, know. and he's then he's all like, "Hey guys, I got my wife. It's cool. No missing yeah. person." Yeah, I was Just surprised like, no questions by that. Asked. I was very surprised by that. But I'm wondering if it is. I, bet, I uh, like, even if you saw that, would you even be like, "Oh, you're an alien"? I don't know that that would be my first. I think it would just be a what. Yeah, because he's not lying. Like, he found his wife. Right. So I think he's probably next step is like, okay, now we got to talk, Max. Yes, now it's knock, Fuck. knock, knock. Yeah. My wife be floating around in some fluid. What is this? I what is not... this? Yes, what's happening? Um, are you positive? Is this people? a new medical thing? <laughs> medical yes. treatment? Yes. Is the... That could be what they tell him. They, they, could, they could be like, very you know well. what? We don't want to... He, he can't tell him that she's an alien, so we'll just be like, 
yeah, it's this experimental treatment. Yeah. Well, now that Liz is straight up like team support, like yeah. te- so, I think she's she Could would be. just now lie. She'd be That'd like, be yeah, interesting. No. That'd be really interesting. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but mm-hmm. I'm, at least he's on the road to knowing. It's true. Because finally, he to know. finally, the man was showing her land before time. Come yes. on, he's such a good guy. Yeah, he's in. He is in everything right. He is within his. You know, he was smart. He didn't just go along with everything. Like, mm-hmm. I really feel like Noah is going to, you know, see her out of that pod. Mm-hmm. And he's not going to know really what's going on. He's just going to be like, I don't care who you are. Who you where are. Where you're from. Where don't you're care from. what you did. As long as you love me. And they're going to make out. Oh, yeah. And, like, it's going to be good. Like she's gonna make an mm. alien, and he's like, "Great, I'm into that." Like, let's incorporate that into our sexual fantasy. Look, let's talk now. Now that she is gonna be, oh, now you know. Now she'll be like, "Baby, I haven't even shown you what I can do." Wait, she got tentacles and <laughs> shit. Like, who knows? Oh. Like, she could be into that. Oh, he clearly they're, into some they're stuff. They're into like all kinds of stuff. So I mean, here we go. Oh. Yeah, who knows? But uh, I'm interested to see what their relationship is like. Once she out the pod next episode. Next episode out of that pod. And now it's time for Roswell's very own Babe Watch. I've been waiting many weeks for this Babe Watch. Maria is a hot babe, has been from day one, but she hasn't served it, served it until this week. In her gorgeous first outfit, in all of her karaoke amazingness and I mean a woman that sings it's hot um even her little sexy times with Michael that I don't want to talk about makes her this week's sexiest fiercest most wanted woman in Roswell babe watch okay we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get on that train <laughs> gotta go I can't okay so we have the four. They're hanging out, and after this whole thing with Arizona being a fraud and stuff, they're like, let's get wasted. So they go to a As bar. one does. Obviously. Like, what else are you going to do? Right. And having a good time. And one thing that I, I guess maybe we briefly mentioned, but like, and I always think about watching it, but I haven't said it, is like how much I love, A, that the episode titles are all 90s songs. Love that. And then the use of 90s songs in the mm-hmm. show and the remixes and stuff. Yes, they have really cool covers. Yes. And you're just like, it, it's at first you're that. like, this sounds familiar. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is. You're yes. Like, yeah, let's yes. do it. Like, but it's so cool clever because there are these songs that are like huge hits. Yes. But it's like they're brand new, which is yes. really neat. Yes. yes. Um, yes. And then Maria. At Ooh. this freaking bar, Ooh. covering Alanis Morissette. Oh, she was killing it. <sighs> like, uh, we all know that Maria and I, you know, we share a third eye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, this is, like, another level of this episode with, like, I don't know. They're just, like, her fashion and then her singing karaoke. Yeah. Like, well, mm-hmm. it, was, it was way better than karaoke. This was, it was a band. Yeah. But she just, like, went up there and she's like, listen, I'm just having a bad time. I'm just going to sing. I'm like, I would so do that. That would be Girl, me. we're here for it. And she you was sing. just singing Atlanta's freaking uh. more sets. Uh, you killed it. Exactly. You killed it. Get, and then uh. getting Max and getting him out of his little funk. So he was all cute. mopey. And uh. it's all good. And she, I mean, absolutely the highlight of the episode. Like, hoping this means we're going to see even more of her. Because she is just, she just brings so much too, because it can tend to be so much drama. Yeah. And even though she is drama too, I mean, with her mom and everything, yes. but she just brings out like she doesn't want to be upset. Like that's yes. like the thing. Like she obviously is very emotional and she has lots going on. But the thing that sets her apart is she doesn't want to wallow in it. Like she wants to overcome it. And I would kind of argue too, like in the original, I feel like she was the heart of the group because like Liz was always so analytical True. like even in the original I mean obviously she was emotional about Max but like she's very like pragmatic and like this is how it is mm-hmm. and Maria just always reacted on emotions yeah. 
and um, was like that with everyone. And, like, sometimes it was just, like, girl, calm down. Yeah. But also, like, she would really call people out on stuff. And, like, that's what, in the original, opened Michael up was, like, her being able to be that open. Yeah. Um, and so, and I, I feel that with this Maria, too. Like, I think she's genuinely going to be the heart of the group. She brings a lot of, like, warmth and light. Totally. And brings all of them out of, each person out of their shell. Yep. And to be their most authentic self. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's so good. Mm-hmm. She's so good. Mm-hmm. She's beautiful. So, we're going further down okay. this path. So, again, cannot reiterate enough. I love Maria. And anything I say has nothing to do with Maria as a character <laughs> or as a person. The actress is great. Like, And I'm feeling her so hard. However... Like, basically, when Alex, when they were, like, in the little bunker or whatever, and Alex was, like, talking with Kyle, and Kyle's like, you just have to talk to Michael, and, like, you obviously care about him. And I was like, fuck. I was like, Michael and Maria are going to sleep together. I was like, it's happening. Like, it's going to happen. And I was just like, nope, no, I can't. And then, like, they're, like, walking, and they're, like, all drunk and whatever. And I'm, and like, flirty, flirty. Yes. And again, their chemistry is great. Like, I can't, I'm not mad at the relationship. I'm really not in general because it is good and I get it. But I'm, like, literally sitting there watching it and I'm, like, rocking and I'm, like, she I'm, like, so uncomfortable and just, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, <laughs> why? And just, like, because I'm, I'm just one of those people, like, when I have, like, a couple that I just love, I just can't see She's them with anyone else. She's all hand for it. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm all in. I'm always an all-in person. Yeah. And, again, as much as I love Maria, and even totally get this relationship, I know a lot of people love Michael and Maria from the original. I was a big Michael Maria. We both were. Mm-hmm. Big Michael Maria people from the original. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. But, man... It's it this in this iteration. It is Alex and Michael for me. Period, and like seeing them together, Michael and and Maria, as hot as it was, because mm. I mean Michael had a shirt off and Maria is banging and they were making out and Ooh. it was like, oh, yeah, I need to get a tissue. Ooh. And Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was it oh. was a moment, but. Also, it just killed me inside. Like, I I just literally was just like, no, no, I just can't. Like, it just made me so upset. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those things. I just, I just, I just needed time. But I couldn't get any time because we had to keep going. And then they're like, oh, it's a one-time thing. And then Michael gave this look that's like, uh-uh, it's not a one-time thing. And I'm like, mm. no, why? Look, can we just talk about about Michael and his looks that he gives? He, it's those his little eyes. winks. Yeah, it's his, his eyes. damn eyes. Those winks and this little, yeah, man, he's got those eyes working for him. He tells so much. He does. But he mostly tells that he loves Alex. <laughs> And, like, why? I just... And then, so then at the end, and then, like... So then, like, okay. So then, of course, Alex has to go to, like, talk to Michael. Because that's what, like, him and Kyle said. And then he has to, like, see Maria's necklace. And I, I kind of hope that means that he did put the pieces together. Yeah. Because I don't want that to be, like, a thing later. Like, yeah. I'd rather him just understand that yeah. that happened. Instead of it being a, oh, you slept with yeah. my friend? What? Yeah. Um, Because I don't want it to cause problems. Because then I really I, will start to be, I will start to hate it if it becomes, like, a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I will be like, well, no. Well, and then that's just going to, like, go to, like, a whole, like, teenage drama. It's like, we're not there. We're adults. Exactly. But, I don't want a love triangle, please. I hate love triangles. Yeah. And, but if it's a couple I care about, I really hate love triangles. Well, and I think, honestly, like, that is what made Alex get upset and then make him actually open up to yes, Michael. Because exactly. he, yeah, like in the beginning of this episode, he's very much like, no, Garen. Like, yeah. no. So that's the thing. I, I'm not, Ugh. I don't feel like Michael like cheated on Alex. No, I no, saw no. that on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like, someone was like, he cheated. I'm like, he didn't. They're he not did. together. They haven't been Alex together. Alex like, get. Exactly. Get. And like, Michael has been trying to kind he's of so open trying. it up. Yep. So I, I'm not mad at that at all. And it's like, he is totally allowed to do it, but it doesn't mean I have yes. to like it. Yes. Um, just wanted to clarify, yes. but yeah, him like going to him and I totally agree. Cause he was like, that's Maria's necklace. And yes. then he walked away like, Oh shit. I don't want to get into that. Mm-hmm. But then he kind of realized like, listen, 
like you said, we're adults. We have mm-hmm. to like move past this just because that happened doesn't mean yeah. Because yeah, obviously they Michael, you know, between the time they were in high school to them reuniting at the ten year reunion, he was with plenty of people. Yeah, and I, Alex too, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that Alex hasn't been sitting there by himself. Like, come on. Yeah, they're yeah. both attractive men. I'm sure they'd be getting it. Um, but I really liked what Alex said, and he was like. You know, basically, like, I'm not necessarily, like, in love with you right now, but, like, I feel like that's because we didn't know each other super well, and I want to get to know you. So, it's, like, it's very, it's opening the door yeah. without it being, like, reckless, because they're still, like, obviously, he's, like, guarded and stuff. Right. And I, I do think it definitely has more to do than just, like, the alien thing. Like, they yeah. obviously care for each other, yeah. have cared for each other. So, I really liked it because... Just like thinking back to like my high school relationships, like people that I said like that I loved. Yeah. Like I didn't know them. Well, and he kind of said he was like, I like loved you, you know, at that age. But like I didn't really even know you. But yeah. like I know we have this like really crazy, as Michael said, cosmic connection, and I can't hide from that. Like I yeah. keep trying to walk away from it. I can't, and like I want to see where this goes if we are actually opening up to and each other. And actually compatible and mm-hmm. actually like each other, like, more than just on a physical level. Mm-hmm. But, and I think that just calls to, like, a high school relationship versus, like, an adult relationship. Right. Not that you can't have a mature relationship in high school. I mean, yeah. There's plenty of people that do. Right. But mm-hmm. a lot of people think that they do and then realize as they get older, not so much. Yeah. I know I've had that experience. Yep. I'm sure you've had that yep. experience. Mm-hmm. That, to that. <laughs> right. We all, you know, you learn something from every relationship. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you learn you didn't know what love was. Um, <laughs> I want to know what love is. Or it's just like the singing episode. <laughs> yeah, we are. Karaoke style. Yes. Well, karaoke. it makes sense, Maria. She, she it's started. true. It's true. But yeah, so I'm really, even though it was, you know, when, when we have to say, when Alex like pulled up. And I saw, like, he was at the trailer park. Like, I stood up. She and did. I was just, and she like... she was, like, walking down. I'm like, girl, what'd you do? Oh, I wasn't leaving. No, I know I just that. needed yeah. to, like... I was... I just couldn't sit. I was just, like, antsy. And I felt, like, annoying. So I wanted to just, like... I was, like, crouching. And then I was, like, standing. And then I was just, like... I didn't know what to do with my body. Because I was, like, oh, my God. If this is, like what you slept with Maria and he's like we're done and they're just like Malik's is canceled Maria and Michael are back on that's it Mm. I would just I don't know what I would do but out of everything that happened that was basically the best thing that would happen because I don't want them to just fall back into each other because they obviously have things they need to work through so I like that they're going to take it slow and I am wondering too like he okay he's probably like I really have a lot of feelings for this guy. And I'm getting all of this information from my dad's stuff saying that he is A. Like, he's probably an alien and he's affiliated with this person killing. But I don't believe that that's my goal. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to see what I can get from the situation. Mm -hmm. I think that Alex is probably going to be like, now that we're kind of opening this conversation, what is Michael going to tell me if he's going to tell me anything? So that's what I'm excited about this next episode is I'm going to be... I'm surprised that, like, Michael's like, all right, man, here you go. Like, if you're gonna, if someone's going to bring me down, I'd rather it be you. So, well, here it this, is, son. This is what I think, my take on this, because obviously that's his person, has been his person, um, much like Liz is for Max. Yeah. And I think seeing that Liz knows, and now that Max and Liz are a thing, mm-hmm. I think, it, assuming that they're going to be open about it, I don't know why they yeah. lie. Um, that, that, and that's that might, working. Yes, yeah, so yeah. that might inspire Michael to be like, okay, maybe it's okay to like let somebody in. And he, yeah. he already knows. Yeah. I mean, Alex already knows. Right. So it's really just like, you might as well try, because yeah. the only way it's going to work. I mean, Isabel and Noah have been making it work, mm-hmm. but obviously it's not working that great. So I think it's... You have to have that trust and you have to have all that foundation of, you know, knowing at the very basis of who you are. Right. And that's, you know, Alex saying he doesn't know him. It's like, even though they, you know, he said, oh, we didn't talk much. They still had a connection. They did talk. Right. But at the core of it, he never knew who he was because he wasn't honest about who he really was. Right. 
So Mm -hmm. I think this seeing it can be done. Yep. Successfully. Mm -hmm. And they don't have nearly as much baggage as Max and Liz. Ooh, truth to I mean, that. they didn't send Alex away. They didn't <laughs> kill Alex's family. Like, you know, they don't have nearly as much baggage. Right. So I feel good about it. Yeah. And even if it is just like a friendship for now, I still feel very strongly that it will be in game. Yeah. I, I, my biggest thing is just, I just hope it's not a love triangle. Because yeah, that will I agree. make me feel things I don't want to feel about Maria and I don't want to do that. Love triangles are only fun if you don't like one of the people. And it just doesn't make sense for this character either because I feel like Maria's wouldn't even she's like oh I'm not even getting involved in that like I don't yeah. have time for this. Exactly. And it I really feel like it happened because she was drunk. Yeah. It was just like a drunken decision. She woke up and she's like we ain't telling anybody about this. Yeah. This is not happening again like we're done. Mm-hmm. You know whatever. I definitely don't feel a relationship coming out of it. I love the friendship. The friendship is great. Keep the friendship. Not a friends with benefits please come on. Well. Don't do you, this to me. I'm sorry. I mean I saw a lot of chemistry there. There's so. great chemistry. I know but I'm just saying like they could play on that. Like, I don't want them to. I well. You know. I know that it's great, but I'm just saying, I just feel like it's going to make me be mad at Maria, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. No, I get it. I get all of your pain. But little wow, Alex. what a scene. Little Alex what a scene. Little face. Oh. But could you just like imagine like Alex like watching that happen? Wouldn't that make you cry? Let's not think about that. <laughs> Whereas like Maria would see Michael and Alex getting it on. She'd probably be into it. And she'd be like, woo, yeah, because Maria's me. So Maria would be like, let me get those binoculars. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh, is that? Oh, okay. That's what, yeah, she'd be into it. So it'd be good. See, so here's the thing, because if we think about it, however many episodes ago, there was, uh, it wasn't in the flashback, but they were talking, no, she was just talking about like the museum boy yeah. With Alex, which is obviously Michael, which we found out in the flashback for sure. Um, I think when she finds out that that was Alex's guy, yeah. she's going to be like, mm-mm. I agree. I agree Like, I think it's only happened because she does not know. Yeah. If she knew, she never would have done that. Right. So it's very, um, you know, bros before hoes here. Yeah. But yeah. she can't because she doesn't know. So, but it's I mean, it, it does make it... Like, again, they were drinking, so I don't really blame them, but it does make it kind of shitty that Michael would sleep with Maria when it is Alex's friend. He was, like, a random person. Like, Mm. it makes it more personal. It does. But, Mm. again, it just happens. I get it. They have a good friendship, so they can just tumble. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. It's fine. It's going to be okay. Overall, great job, Sherry, with this episode. It really was a great episode. I had a lot of fun with it and felt like this is the right path. Like, this is kind of where I've been wanting it to get to. Um, so, not saying it was, like, the right way to get there, but I feel like now we're kind of... Yeah. We're, we got there now. It's going there. We're, we're on that now. Yes. We're on the road. There's probably going to be some bumps, but, you know, we're on it and... Some bumps, some humps. Ooh, some humps. Ooh. Ooh. We got some kissy kissy action now. Who's that? Do. No. I know. Who Woo. knows how long it'll take before there? That's true. I don't know though. We had some uh, sexual healing like in the original. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for another yeah. episode. Thank you. Uh, and I can't wait for next week. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens next week. Is about getting out of the pod. Mm, we got. I love that pod. We got some Malik's friendship. Yes. Some opening up. Yep. And, you know, maybe we're going to have some setbacks, but I feel good about it. Yep. And, and we're getting the crew together. Like yes. The crew is coming yes. together. The six slash seven. Mm-hmm. Noah. Mm-hmm. Get Noah mm-hmm. in there. Yep. I want to know exactly what he thinks he saw. Yeah. Yeah. If he knows, then I'm also like, no. Writers know. He would not know what that is. Yeah. That's weird. No, 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 no. Unless it's like, Noah's like, I'm the fourth alien. That would be crazy. No, that wouldn't make any sense because he's not. If it, that wouldn't make any sense, but also that would be crazy. But that would make sense for the, how the writers say. <laughs> it's so true. They're like, oh, okay, great. <laughs> Here we go. I was like, you should have just told me I could have healed her in a second. Yeah, exactly. I'm an alien. Can you guys drink <laughs> nail polish remover, please? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what oh what would he God. drink? Like antifreeze or something? Oh my God. 
like straight up just like he's just like opening up hoods of cars and just like a straw <laughs> yeah. just <laughs> that's why he visits Michael so much yes exactly yes Done. Done. Did your job for you, writers. Writers, don't worry about it. We got you. We got it. We, we got, got it. Oh my god. All right. Thanks, guys, again. And we'll see you next week for Brussels Recap. Hey there, sci-fi fans. Ooh, hello. You know what you need to do? You need to click subscribe to our channel. That way you can catch us every Thursday for what? The Roswell Recap. Roswell Recap! We're going to dive into some of our favorite sci-fi television shows oh. and movies. What? And some that we've never seen before. Oh, Lord. You know that you guys can actually tweet us at Cafe Crashdown and let us know some of your favorite TV shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down. Mm -hmm. And after we watch them, we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one. So recommend at Grum Risk. Mm. We will be live tweeting on Tuesdays. Yes. When we're watching Roswell New Mexico on the CW. Yep. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait, what did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Roswell recap. Oh, it's the Roswell See Recap! See you Thursday. Woo!